four. Okay. But at four, everyone's gonna be up there and wanting to play us. But you can start on hold. Oh yeah. Hold. Smart. Very smart. Take out the governor. Ah! This is what laziness looks like. Well, I've been doing a pretty terrible job at vlogging this tournament. Like, the last few days, I've waken up and I'm like, I'm gonna do a daily vlog today. I've got like two or three shots and then the day's over. So it just hasn't been happening for some reason. But I've been trying to put a lot of effort into practicing because this is gonna be most likely my last term of the year. I might get the itch to go to Texas or Oklahoma or whatever because there's some events going on there. But for the most part, my season's over after this event. So tonight was the players meeting. Tomorrow, it's tournament time. It's tournament time! The USDC has happened already. I can't believe it's October. Unbelievable. The year went by so fast. I am at 110. I'm on the feature card. I'm playing with Paige Pierce, Paul Macbeth, and Jeremy Calling. It's time to go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. Yes. <laughs> day one update for you. I played on the feature card with the people I just told you about. I didn't get that much footage for you to forget because I literally just said that in your time, your viewing time. Sorry. Yeah, I shot four under. I am five off the lead. All I need to do tomorrow and the coming days is just stay steady and not really expect, try to expect any birds. You just got to go out there with confidence and throw the best shot you can and that's and just take whatever the course gives to you. If it gives you a 10, you gotta take it and keep on playing. Cause you know what? You can fight back from anything on this course because it's happening to everyone. That's the reason why I really like courses like these. I think the future of disc golf, I think it's better. I play better for the most part on, that's why I like it. All right, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. I'm probably gonna play games or do whatever. Yeah. Let's go to tomorrow. Not a very good second day, unfortunately. It was a very roller coaster like round for most most of the time. Uh, I got two, it was like I got two birdies, I got a double birdie, got two birdies, got a double bogey, and then going into hole 17, I was minus two, and then I took not a four, not a five, not a six, but a seven. And then finishes, finishes, finishes. I went seven five to finish and i ended up shooting three over par which isn't it isn't gonna win you the tournament let's just say that yeah unfortunate 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 here we go again round three hopefully i can get my head in the game six and a half hours later Destroyer stamp, dude. Because they're robots. Because of the cog wheel, bro. Oh, dude, I don't even know what this is, but. Destroyer? Just destroyer, dude. Or Troy. Dude, before they even made destroyers, it was destroyer, dude. Before that was a Troy. Later, dude. Later, dude. Just. I am so hungry. Nice to meet you. I'm so hungry. It's great to meet you. Not, I'm so hungry. I'm. It's. So hungry. Are you vlogging, Eagle? Yes. Hey, kids.
as you can see, it was snowed. Uh, I got back yesterday morning, got a super early flight out of Charlotte. It was really great to get out of there. 2017 USDGC, holy crap. Nate Sexton, you're the man. I don't think anyone is unhappy that he won. He completely deserved it. He's gone through so many close calls. Like if you look back to Majestic, that putty missed. I can make a little bit more fun of him now since he has a major title. He choked that one pretty bad, but now to get the monkey off his back and freaking hit him hard at the USDGC, beat Ricky Wysocki, win a major, that's incredible. So incredible. Congrats, Nate. I'm so happy for you. As for me, I don't. I want to keep it short. I did not live up to my expectations for that event. In 20, 2016, going into the final round, I was up like four strokes going Going into 888 and it took a 10 and it was just terrible. Going into that event, I think I thought I could really shred it, and which I can because the third round I, sh I shot a nine down. If I would have shot a few more of those, I might have been up near the top. I don't know, my mental game is just through just terrible right now. That's why I am back here in Colorado. I am skipping the Hall of Fame Classic, um, the Florida event, and probably staying here for the rest of the year and not playing any more events. I just need a little bit of time to live somewhat of a normal life, see some friends, and just not worry about the next place I gotta be. I've been doing it since the start of the year. It's a complete blessing that I'm able to play disc golf for a living and go all these cool places, but in human nature, you just, sometimes you don't, fully appreciate what you have until you're not doing it. Hopefully I can get that, that full on appreciation back by spending some time at home and just really, just really not thinking about whether I need to, whether I need to hit another putt or not. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back and just kind of take a breather because next year I have some big plans. A few things are changing. I wanna, I'm gonna get my license, get a car, hopefully travel a good majority by myself to give myself freedom. I have a lot of things in the works and being here will help me prepare for those situations in the future. You won't see too many vlogs for the remainder of the year. I think I'm a, I might do a few daily vlogs if I'm doing something cool in the winter. Might get a mountain bike this or that. I'll just do what I feel like. So in a sense, I'm kind of piecing out for the rest of the year. It's been a wild ride, guys, and I am very grateful for all the support you guys have given me. It's really, really cool. Until next time, Chickpea Nation, stay frosty, because it's freaking cold out snowed today, and keep on dreaming.